Ray is reluctantly ready to face Chris Sale with Red Sox. Devin Longoria has been playing in the American League East for a long time, so it came as no shock to him when he learned Chris Sale was being traded to the Red Sox this past winter. It comes with the territory. Longoria, who just began his 10th season as a third baseman for the Rays, understands more than most that the AL East, maybe more than any division, features the best talent, and that teams aren't afraid to spend big to get it, either through trade or free agency. The Red Sox and Yankees have a long history of it, and the recent surges of the Orioles and Blue Jays have only pushed that narrative. Longoria has more or less seen it all. So, in a way, he expected to see the Sox make that kind of big-time move to bring in sale, the five-time All-Star pitcher who will face visiting Tampa on Saturday at Fenway in his third start with the Sox. But Longoria wasn't exactly doing jumping jacks when he heard the news. I wasn't happy about it. Longoria said with a laugh. I wasn't happy to see him over here, but it wasn't that big of a surprise. When there's big moves that are made or when there's guys that are going into free agency, I always expect to see them in the AL East for one reason or another. There's three teams in this division, well shoot, for now, that aren't afraid to spend money and aren't afraid to go after the top free agents. He's a frontline ace, and when you add a guy like that, it's a no-brainer. There's a reason Longoria wasn't happy to see Sale join his division and it's more than just because of the big name. Longoria knows firsthand what it's like to be a victim of Sale's dominance. Longoria has seen the most of Sale of any rate, and the results haven't been pretty. He's won 421 career against the left-hander, the worst batting average he's produced against any pitcher he is 20 or more at bats against, with 8 strikeouts. That lines up with the rest of his teammates. Including Longoria, Friday night's raise order is a combined 6 for 60.100 career against Sale. Over the years, he's figured how to use all of his pitches and weapons, Longoria said. The ones that go from good to great are the ones to really figure out how to use their other stuff and mix velocity on the fastball. I think he does that probably best. Him and Justin Verlander probably do that best of any pitcher in the game. One of the toughest things to time as a hitter is if a guy is throwing to different fastballs, and he varies his fastball from 88 to 97, so it's the same pitch, but it's a different velocity. He's really honed that in. Longoria's teammates similarly expect players of sales caliber to land in their division, and while they may not be overly thrilled about it, the challenge is embraced. Obviously I was like, well, the rich get richer, but I'm excited about the opportunity to face him. Ray's first baseman Logan Morrison said. When you're growing up traveling around playing baseball, you dream about getting to play against the best. Some people's reaction might be, oh no, now Sale is in the division, but mine's like, shoot, what's the worst that could happen? I'm going to go zero fur with four strikeouts. It's happened before, but it'll happen again, so I get to face him. I'm excited about it. When it comes to going up against someone like Sale, it's no exception. This has become the norm. You won't find the Rays groaning publicly about having to face Sale, at least until he sends them back to the dugout after he makes them look foolish. It's really hyper-competitive and you have teams going for it all the time, Rays second baseman Brad Miller said. They go about it in their different ways, but you're gonna face some of the best pitchers going and it's a grown man division. You gotta bring it. So I think them going out and getting Chris Sale is pretty much P.A.R. for the course. He's tough. It's always a battle and I think it's something you have to embrace and bring your A-game or you're going to be found out pretty quick.